Hello, welcome to another video. If you seen my video yesterday, the extreme cold test, well, today, it's even colder. Temperature now, minus 39. <laughs> I will show you on the weather to prove it. Uh, so let's try and see if the Enero will start at minus 39. I think that's a little bit too cold, to be honest. Uh, let me refresh the page so it's updated. Uh, yep, still minus 39. So that is now. There, the, there is the date, 20th of February. Yep. There's the time, 0907. And it is. 19 minutes past nine so that is that's accurate that's up to date oh my god it's cold okay i am feeling it a little bit now in my hands uh, i even put a jumper on because it's basically minus 40. what's your prediction do you think the e-nero will start oh my god or oh, no. I'm gonna say no again. <laughs> I think we were I think we were lucky yesterday with minus thirty five, but I think I think this is too much. This is like let's see. Let us see. Don't want to be touching anything now because you can get frostbite instantly at these temperatures. Or frost nip is the stage before frostbite. Frost nip, you don't actually get any cellular damage to your skin, but it hurts like hell. Huh, <laughs> that locks first time. Took three goes yesterday, minus 35. Wow, the screens came on. Oh. I'm not driving far in this this weather. This is like this is dangerous. Minus 39. My internal thermometer only goes down to like minus 13, so that's that's useless. <laughs> we are like 27 degrees below the minimum of this um Thingy Bob or something. My math sucks. Okay, let us see. Foot on brake. Wasn't that red yesterday? Oh, come on. This is insane. This car is a beast. Minus 34 on the... Uh, screen but as always that's not accurate that will update and do you know what i must say that's impressive i forgot to mention it yesterday on the minus 35 video these screens don't seem to have much of a delay on them a slight delay there not not because in lcd screens They are, they are mega, mega slow. When it gets down to like these sort of temperatures, there's a serious delay on some cars I've been on. It's like, it takes five seconds for a display to show up. Uh, the computer reacts instantly, but just for the display, it's so cold, it takes a while. I have to say, on this Enero, there's really not much delay. This, these screens are mighty impressive in, in serious cold. Almost normal. That is absolute madness. Wow. What the heck kind of screens are Kia using? Normally, every sort of display, LED displays, LCD displays, anything like that, 
seriously lags in the cold when it's when it's frozen this this car has not been used since yesterday afternoon so it's been here like uh, good 18 hours or so seat heater on steering wheel heater on okay let's go for a little drive around the block and see how it does uh, obviously let's expect the air raid siren noise from the motor that seems to be a given oh the seatbelt is cold oh I'm not going further than walking distance because yeah, this is just a, this is just insane temperature. This is dangerous. If if I got dressed up to the nines, if I put my snow suits on and all that kinds of stuff, I would be all right. I've been out in these temperatures before for a while on the on the snowmobile and stuff. But uh, nah, not not today. Let's uh, turn the heating down. Put it on driver only. Let's turn the fan down so we can hear any weird noises. So the, this, so the suspension will creak like crazy now. The motor will make a crazy noise. What else? Ah, oh, that steering's well heavy now, straight away. And there's a weird clicky noise when I press the brake no oh, that's the yeah that steering's very heavy and there's a bit of a clunk there's a bit of a clunk in it as well oh I nearly ran over my tripod I like these Manfrotto tripods because they have foam foam on it so you don't touch the bare metal but even so that's cold oh, yeah. let's check the battery temperature oh Look how much steam. Let's check the bat battery temperature. EV notify. Okay, so <clears throat> there is definitely some sort of battery pre not like preheating but there's definitely I'm gonna say some sort of battery heating system in this e Nero because let me focus it is it's been minus 40 all night that that battery if it didn't have some sort of heating system in it that battery would be minus 40 this car hasn't been charged since yesterday I've got 11 kilowatt charging here, so this, this car charges in just a few hours now when I'm doing little trips out and about. So as soon as I plug in, it's literally charged after an hour or two. So this hasn't been on charge for since yesterday. So that battery should be minus 39. A full a, a day exposed in these temperatures, everything becomes minus 39. This, this must have some sort of battery temperature regulation going on because that I mean it's still super cold uh, minus 24 and it's coldest place minus 5 minus 15 so in one place of the battery it's minus 15 and uh, yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna say like I was saying in the last video that Jaguar had some sort of like it had three three stages of like battery temperature regulation for in extreme climates this must have it. It must have it. Otherwise, that battery would would be minus thirty nine. It's been here all all night. 
exposed. It's being plugged in, but it's not been charging. Yeah, so that that's good. So now I know I can leave the car out in these temperatures and the battery is not getting to minus 40 or the record cold temperature here is minus 51 so if it got to minus 51 uh, the the battery should not get that cold so that's great I don't know if it's true or that it's just coincidence but I'm gonna say there's some sort of battery battery temperature regulation going on Still weird clicky noise. Turn the regen off. Oh yeah, that's that steering is much heavier than yesterday. Even though I discovered it's not it's not a pump. It is a electric power steering, so it has a motor. It's got an electric motor. <coughs> I'm st I'm st just I'm just amazed with these screens. This is no cold effects on these on these screens. Very creaky steering, very heavy. It's minus 35 now on the dash, but still, it's minus 39. The thermometer on the window says minus 39. Here's the air rate siren. I wonder how noisy that is from the outside. Probably noisier. Mine is 36 on the dash now. Oh, our steering is still heavy, creaky like hell. You ain't gonna see a car out today. I guarantee that. There ain't no fossil cars running today. And everybody who sees this will be amazed. They're like, how is that car running? Well, whoever has a garage, a heated garage, their cars will be running. But whoever's cars lives outside, I mean, you might get lucky. Uh, if the car's been plugged in, you know, the engine block heater, and you have a good battery, it would start. Our, our fuel's up here. Yeah, it's just taking my dog for a walk at minus 39. Yeah, it's totally normal. In a... The fuel, the fuel, like the diesel is, is really winterized up here. That's good to about minus, minus 44. I've used, I've been out in my diesel van years ago in minus 44. The, the problem you have is if you've got water in the, in the fuel filter, that freezes and then your car won't run. So that, if if you if you if you keep on top of your maintenance and you keep replacing your fuel filters or draining the water out of the fuel filter, a lot of filters have like a drain thing. So it's not necessarily the fuel that freezes; it's it's like the the moisture that freezes in your fuel lines and in your in your fuel filter. 
no problems with the E Nero though. <laughs> Even the indicator stock is is like heavy. It's, it's quite firm to, to pull up. So much for just going around a block. Oh, this is a long walk home if this goes kaput. Leaking like crazy. And there's still that weird clicky noise like when I press the uh, the brake, listen. Hear that? That's weird. The brakes work fine, but weird clicky noise. Okay, let's do a walk around in minus 39. E Nero. Damn, this is an impressive extreme temperature car. You wouldn't, you just wouldn't think so by looking at it. It looks like, kind of like an ordinary, nothing, nothing special going on here, but it's an absolute cold climate beast. Minus 39 and it just, just starts and goes. No, no issues. Hopefully there's no dust on the flipping lens this time. So I'm plagued with dust on, on this, this camera. I don't know how it gets in there, but I cleaned everything yesterday. Okay. Not much more to add there. E Nero is minus 39 proof. Let's just say minus 40. Uh, it, it feels like minus 40. My hands are just like so cold right now. Like. I can feel frost nip approaching, not frostbite. To get frostbite, you've generally got to touch something or spill something on your hand, or like really put it in the snow for 10 minutes or something. In the bare air, you don't tend to get, get frostbite. And normally frost nip, the stage before frostbite, that hurts so much. You'd have to be pretty stupid to get frostbite. Normally on a, on, a, on a snowmobile when you've got the wind chill coming at your face, you can get it a bit then. I've had frost snip on my, on my face before on a snowmobile, but it's so painful. You generally stop before you get to any sort of cellular damage. But you have to, you have to sort of figure this stuff out if you're going to live in extreme places. As I always say, safety first. I say standing out on a jumper in minus 39. <laughs> anyway. Thanks for watching, now I'm going home, possibly put the sauna on and go for a sauna. See you on the next one, bye bye.